What's up everyone, it's your man Busy Braun. It's been a long, long night. We reacted to The Flash, we reacted to Star Trek, uh, New like Strange New Worlds, and now we're watching Halo. Um, notifications have been crazy, so if you didn't get any of those, feel free to just go click on them and watch them now. Um, oof. Halo has been interesting. I, I want to say this. Episode 5 is definitely my favorite so far. And I'm hoping that it picks up. You know, last episode actually wasn't that terrible. And and I went into it a little nervous due to the fact that it's like after a, an episode like five, it's like there's no way they're going to they're going to top it. You know, there's no way uh, it's going to have the same energy or whatever. But uh, episode six managed to, to, you know, throw some surprises at me. And I, I was I was happy with it, you know, and uh, it's getting me excited for this. Uh, I, I want to say this. It turns out I'm not, like, alone with it and makes me feel a little better. The whole Quan, uh, you know, storyline hasn't been my cup of tea. And I am not looking forward to seeing more of that, honestly, because I, I just, I don't see it getting, you know, that entertaining. And obviously, if it pops up, we're going to have to give it a shot no matter what. So I'm hoping they do take a big turn and it ends up being a little more entertaining, you know. Uh, with Quan, I understand why she's been annoying. Obviously, the trauma she's gone through, she's like the last of her people. I don't blame her for doing some of the things she does. But that doesn't make it any more inter entertaining for me. So, like I'm saying, I'm just hoping that they find a way to just, you know give it a little li the little push it needs you know so if this happens to be a quan episode maybe it can get a little more exciting but i'm really hoping that it picks up from you know what we had in the last couple of episodes because i've really enjoyed the vibe that we've gotten and i'm really hoping it keeps that up so um we'll have to see we'll have to be patient and we'll have to wait again if you're new subscribe Check out Twitter, check out Instagram, check out TikTok, where I'm at 100,000 followers. We actually threw a whole bunch of action scenes up there, and they're, you know, longer extended reactions due to not, us not being able to put all of it on YouTube, so we can do that separately on TikTok, so go check that out. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. This is probably going to be my last video for for the day. Um, uh, finally be able to t take a break, right? So it's going to be it's gonna be fun, but um, I hope you guys are doing well, and um, I'm excited, so... Let's get busy. Quan, how did you do that? I'll never tell. Quan? <laughs> oh, this is a flashback. I'm like, how long has it been? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is happier times. Oh, professor. Your dinner's getting close. the trick again, Quan. Again. Not now. So she's always been angry. <laughs> Ruben from Castra. I heard. Oh, so the trauma is no reason. I guess she's always been a bitch. You'll still be out there pumping fuel like the rest of us. Why not? I'm fighting for free magic. So was my mother. That's enough. She's annoying, bro. <laughs> I, I was given the trauma her as an excuse. I was like, you know what? She's been through things. We'll let her decision slide. But she's just has always been mean. Oh, are these the people she's looking for? Oh, okay. And brought it down in a control role. Oh yeah. Boom! I hit those goddamn quad legs. Oh, he loves telling his stories. A rebel girl from Madrigal. With a bounty on her head. Oh, oh no. no. We should go hungry. You appear to be eating pretty well. <laughs> Man, do something if you're unhappy. You talking. The Sorens lost a step. Is that right? Sorry, uh oh. I want to hear what he has to say. Send your kid to your world. to his room at least. Only gathered his nuts. Ah! Say something, big dog. Hey yo. Leave that alone. You're not ready. I'm not a child. I. You're acting like it. This way. Your rage blinds you to the truth. Rage. All I have left. Solid, all right. Ah, oh, Soren. What's the matter, buddy? It's a UNSC cargo ship. My guy says they only get one Man, so to kill so can take it for himself. Where are they okay. <laughs> 
Yo, what the hell? Oh, this is sick again. Master Chief, oh, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why is it Master Chief she's fighting now? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Did she respawn? <laughs> Jeez, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Again. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, bro. Stop being so rageful and actually think about your attack. Oh my god, bro. Ah, uh, this is just sad. <laughs> Jeez. What do you want from me? She's amused. <laughs> John! You'll open the door for him. Oh yeah? Alright. Is that all of our ancestors or something? Oh, it's everyone that's had the... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is cool. Alright. Potariranda. Madrigari Sungajin. It's a portal powered by the precious fuel beneath the soil of magical. Back to where it all began. So go. Alright. So far, it's, it's, it's pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he did it on purpose. Oh shit! Help me! Broken. Why don't you help the fellow now? Was that really necessary? He could lose his toes. Okay, I'm glad she's trying to talk to some sense in it. Pain and ass little girl. Damn. Oh, look at all the bodies, bro. Damn. As was the whole Ha family. Sick, delusional, and weak. Due to the pain and yet you were so deathly afraid of them. Ah. Oh, he doesn't like that. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. All right, all right. Hope he doesn't kill her. I feel like it's coming. I really must get my perishable stored. Yes, yes, of course. Really? That simple? Damn, bro. That dude is... Oh, I can't wait to see him get what he... Oof, so much fun. So he wasn't even sure what he was supposed to do. What is the portal? Oh, man. Ah. Uh... Is it Soren? Is he coming to... Nah, I'm not. Yep, I knew it. What I knew it couldn't have been the other guys because they would have been a lot louder. You owe me one ship, man. A shitload of deterrent money. I'm not going to. Sorry. Oh, come on. You know they gonna let me save your ass. I'm doing just fine on my own, thanks. Oh no, yeah, no. Maybe you're too young or too stupid to understand, but yep. I made a promise <laughs> to tell them to keep you safe, and I intend to keep it whether I like you or not. Yes, sir, bro. Oh, Sorry's a cool guy. You're not exactly a picnic either. <laughs> <laughs> Nah. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> you just have to be different. <laughs> Me? Oh, you they're, should they're talk. fun. Damn. Damn, Damn, all this for her? Damn. Damn. This is her home. She definitely Let them come. Good. Say what now? As long as we're inside the vault when the pipe explodes, probably safe. Probably. probably. You want if we're going to fight, we meet them on my terms. Ah, she's learning. The wrong will come to you. Of that, I give you my soul. <laughs> I love jackass. Never surrender. All right, Quan. My dad hated you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
All of this, bro, are you serious? Uh -oh. She's a child. Uh oh. Oh, that's all you, bro. You gotta be kidding me. I told you I was rich. <laughs> oh! Don't forget those credits, bro. So these are the aliens. Ugly bastards. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh shit, dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, dude, nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Oh, damn, bro. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, yeah. You can bet us. Oh shit. Come on, you got this. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Sorin. Yeah, how is he still? Yo, he's still alive, dude. Dude, something else. Oh, there we go. I was like, bro, how is he not hit yet? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, this man's about to get destroyed. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> no, Soren. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bro, we are not about to watch this man die. Your adventure has come. Grab the gun. Show yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's my 117. <laughs> oh, Sorin. Bro, stop. Yeah. Oh, they made it. Yo. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. How'd you like them fireworks? Ah, she's impressed. <laughs> oh, so he's good. Oh, I was really nervous as Soren, bro. Is that guy gone? Like, like I know that there should be no chance of him surviving, but I've seen characters go through worse. <laughs> it's crazy. Please be gone, though, for real. He was annoying. Ah, the protector. Okay, okay, Quan. Is this a turning point for a character? I owe you one ship plus a shitload of deuterium money. Consider us even. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm not one for joining lost causes. I don't believe that. <laughs> Finally, they're about to leave on good terms. What? We'll see each great. other again. God, I hope not. <laughs> oh, bro. All right, wow, all right, solid episode. Oh shit, I'm still recording, bro. I've just been letting the camera run for like 10 minutes and I just, I totally forgot. Anyways, here we go. I mean, episode seven, solid, all right? I want to start off with saying, I'm over here running my mouth about Quan. And although... I feel like I ate my words because because she really did give me a little turnaround here. She was so much more likable here than she's ever been in the entire series. And that's the only reason why I'm not going to take back my comments. Because we've got six episodes prior to this and she didn't show me really one sign of, you know, things. I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it still. And we got flashbacks in this episode where... You know, where her family's still alive, and we still see her being an ass. I mean, obviously she had reasons, but, I mean, it just, she seemed like the same person, you know, in the flashbacks, you know, where she is now. So, it's like, it's like, I just, I didn't, I was just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm just not feeling her. But, kind of like the whole situation with her dad. I mean, her aunt said once her dad kind of found these people and kind of came back, he was basically a whole different person. 
seems like that's kind of the case with Quan, but you know, for the better. And I don't know if that was intentional. I know that that her finding these people kind of probably brought some type of peace with her. You know, she uh, was able to kind of speak to her dad, and 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 this is a whole, kind of maybe a, made a whole chain of events where she's kind of feeling better. You know, she she kind of has a little more things resolved, which is good to see, you know, but we're at a point where it's like, uh, uh I'm, I'm just hoping it gets better from this point on, you know, and it's, and I, I think it might, I mean, just seeing what we got in this episode was, was really great, I mean, just seeing her and Soren kind of have more, you know, positive moments and them just bickering at each other, it was cool to see, and their send-off, it was cool that it was on a positive, you know, note, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's making me actually want to see them together again, uh, because, like, it, like I said, it wasn't until, like, halfway through until I started, you know, enjoying it a little more. Uh, the Soren, you know, Soren being on screen was something that I was okay with. Like, I didn't have a problem with it because his character is a little more interesting to me than, uh, than Quan is. And, um, you know, just seeing him kind of, like, talking to Squirrel and, you know, uh, you know, I don't know. Just the whole situation there was a little more, a little, little more interesting. Obviously, we saw Quan get kidnapped. We learn a little more about these people. They called them, like, the mystics, I think is what she called them. So, I mean, we learn a little bit about that. Uh, of course, um, what what is it called? She was very aggressive when it came to questioning these people. Wanted to know what was going on, you know, what they told her dad. And, and it's like, she w they were at a point where it's like, oh, you're not ready. You're not ready. And it's like, she was just continuing to prove that she's just not at that mature level to, to I guess, observe absorb all this information and although she ended up getting what she wanted it was just like it was just funny listening to them they were just like they're like no you're not ready and she's like yeah i am i'm not a child and she's over here stomping like a child it's like bro like like how do you expect people to take you seriously when it's when you're acting like this and uh, like i said the only reason i was behind all of it and i was cool with it was because all of the trauma everything we saw with her like i was like okay like like obviously she got some stuff going on so like i, I don't i don't blame her but then after like i said seeing the flashbacks where she's legit being a little bit of a jackass that, that, like there i was just like okay like it's just is this just normal behavior for her but it just picked up and it, it was just it was pretty cool we got that little little simulation of um her and uh john fighting which i thought was really cool i mean it, of course giving me dr strange vibes of course we're gonna be seeing that tonight i can't wait of course people on tiktok if you're trying to see the movie you don't want spoilers stay off tiktok i was just scrolling and and i got a big spoiler i'm not gonna say it obviously so don't don't get nervous a big spoiler for uh dr strange and it, it really bothered me i mean oh man it, it killed my soul seeing it but still i mean i'm just uh I'm, I'm still excited to see the movie but uh anyways back to where we were the scene that reminded me of of course doctor strange was uh where john is con continuing to basically murder kwan <laughs> and it's she continued to respawn and obviously it's giving me doctor strange vibes from when he was fighting doromamu and um of course the similarities th there specifically were uh pretty interesting but um just overall it was just a fun scene and and uh even though John wasn't really present too much during this episode, we did have a lot of, I guess, subtle references, such as when we are back at her home base in Magical, we have um, the, the the rifle or whatever you want to call it that had 117 on it, which of course is his, his, uh, his little number. So, I mean, just seeing little things like that and then seeing that it ended up actually helping her in in this situation, was it was, it was pretty cool to see. Of course, Soren is is, you know, he is the leader of where he is, so seeing people question it, it makes sense that it's bound to happen, but uh, whatever this dude's name, Squirrel, whatever, stepping up on him, and uh, although he had a couple drinks, I mean, it makes sense, but he was just coming at uh, Soren's neck, and just seeing Soren kind of step up, just no no shame at all, his kid's right there, he wasn't going to step down. Um, it, it was interesting. I was excited to see where it plays out. One of my favorite lines by Soren was, oh, look, Squirrel found his nuts. <laughs> that, that was funny. But, um, of course, Soren wasn't going to let, you know, that grudge go. And me personally, I thought he was going to wipe him out. Specifically when Squirrel said that he had a score that was just massive. And then when they start talking about it and when Soren sees him later on in the episode and he's like, I want to know more about that score. I was certain he was gonna like tr like just do something to squirrel like i uh although we don't know too much about soren i i'm not sure if he's the type to just straight up merc somebody to get what he wants i don't know so i was really i was sure that he was gonna end up getting rid of squirrel so he could learn more and uh you know take that you know prize for himself but that didn't end up happening um 
which I guess is, is somewhat good, but instead he ends up breaking his foot, which is not the best thing in the world, but of course is, uh, it's, it's his punishment, I guess, <laughs> but, uh, seeing him do that, and, and then even his girl went over to help, and then, you know, Sword straight up said, now nah, you're gonna help lift that stuff and put it on my truck, basically, and she just, like, turned around, and was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do that, it was just cool to see, like, like, just, not the respect or, or fear, I don't know, it just shows the power he has in that, you know, area, and, uh, like I said, I'm interested in seeing more of, of him specifically, and if Quan ends up being more likable like she was in this episode, and again, I'm sorry if I am pissing you off with these opinions, but if, if you're gonna tell me that she didn't bother you at all throughout any of the episodes, then I don't know what to tell you, I mean, that's just not where I stand, I mean, obviously, you can have your own opinions, do what you gotta do, but just don't come in my neck for, for, for being, like, just having these thoughts, you know, but, like I said, if she's a little more likable, then I am down with seeing her on screen more, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I just thought she was a little more tolerable, like, like I said, there were still moments throughout the episode where it was just like, eh, okay, but, um, I, I definitely think that this is a turning point, and it could get a lot better from this point, and that's what I'm hoping for, um, like I said, she ended up seeing all of her ancestors, it just, you know, gave me some, uh, you know, ancestral plan, plain type uh, of vibes. She ended up seeing everyone, everyone seeing her dad, got some answers, ended up going back to her home base, and that's when things got real. So it wasn't until she went back to, uh, you know, her, her home in Magical where things ended up getting up, you know, getting real heavy, and we got some great action. Obviously, episode five is where they delivered the best action of the series, but this was, uh, this was definitely fun, seeing Soren basically rip through dozens of their soldiers because when they showed up i'm like the first thing that came in my head because they didn't even know soren was there they legit brought like 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 40 men to take out one little girl like one child so seeing soren just rip through all these dudes was just it was entertaining because this dude was just doing it with ease and and just to see he ended up getting hit once in like the leg or whatever but then it was when uh fincher or finch or whatever ended up hitting him with you know his solid aim which clearly is something that I'm 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 I would have been into seeing more and I I am going to be really I don't know what the word is we have seen a lot of shows where you know big things happen it's like no way anyone could have survived that but then we end up seeing one guy walk away and it's like how but they don't they just say oh he was a little further away from the I don't know but I'm really hoping they just like even though I feel like there could have been a lot more to this character and it, I don't want to say it was kind of rushed or they kind of did it a little quickly um I, I just I I don't see how he could have survived and if they just make it so he survived I think that's a little stupid I mean they're, they're, I don't know I just don't think that that should be a thing specifically because we see him running through that door and then we see the flames coming through the uh you know, the cracks in the door, so obviously, there's no reason he should be alive, so they just pull out something and say, you know, he made it out, I, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say, I think it would just be absolutely, absolutely ridiculous, but, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, Soren, Quan having some awesome moments together, uh, you know, of course, I'm finding the money, she just look, you know, her looking up, and instead of saying, you know, that's mine, she was just like, I told you I was rich, so it's cool to see them go kind of back and forth, and, and kind of, patch things up and uh like i said i'm interested to seeing more of it now that soren is not with Quan and they kind of separated because of course it started off with just soren at his place and it wasn't until his wife mentioned uh that i was like okay like this dude's definitely gonna go back and i think i like 100 percent knew it when uh, of course she heard somebody kind of going to the base and it, it wasn't you know it was clear that it was just one person if it was yet like fincher and his crew you would have heard a lot of people and of course fincher is going to show up and, and be extremely obnoxious about it so it was clear that it was one person so to see soren kind of come out come through it was, it was it was cool to see and he didn't need to come back uh, and and so like it shows uh you know the level of, of loyalty or just honor he had to keeping his word with john because although he was saying straight up, like, when he was talking to his wife, like, oh, for all I know, they could be skinning her alive right now. It's like, bro, like, that's that's not okay. <laughs> like, come on. But he ended up coming through, and I guess that's all that matters. So it was it was a solid. For me, I thought it was a solid episode. I really want to uh, hear your rankings. But personally, the last three episodes have been really good. Like, like I don't want to say really good, but they have been better. Like, like for me, I, I'm, I'm, like definitely episode one was it was there but episodes five six and seven have managed to to, to to be pretty solid episodes and i really want this you know to continue and uh so like let me know how you're feeling i hope you guys are are doing well again if you don't get the notifications for this i do apologize i'm probably gonna make it like just drop it in a separate post because uh you know 
I've posted so many videos today and yesterday, so YouTube's not really pushing out there the, the, the notification, so, um, it is what it is, you know, but hope you guys are doing well, hope you're staying safe, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, go follow me over there, please, I'd appreciate the support, and I will talk to you soon, you guys have been great, and, uh, peace out.